Welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, the channel where we explore the science and philosophy of healthy longevity and well-being. Today's question is, are all low-carb diets really healthy? A massive new Harvard study led by my friend Dr. Frank Fu and spanning over 30 years just gave us the answer, and it might surprise you. The research followed nearly 200,000 U.S. participants drawn from the Nurses' Health Study 1 and 2 and from the Health Professionals Follow-Up Study, all free of diabetes, heart disease, and cancer at the start. Every two to four years, participants reported their diets using validated questionnaires. Researchers then calculated five different low-carbohydrate diet scores based on the quality and source of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Here's what they found. Overall, people following a low-carb diet were actually more likely to develop type 2 diabetes, specifically an animal-based low-carb diet, high in animal protein and saturated fat, was linked to a 39% higher risk. Moreover, an unhealthy low-carb diet which de-emphasized whole grains and other quality carbs increased risk by 44%, yes, 44%, in contrast, low-carb diets centered around plants with plenty of healthy fats and plant proteins told a very different story. A vegetable-based, low-carb diet rich in plant protein and healthy fats was linked to a 6% lower risk of type 2 diabetes. A healthy, low-carb diet that also reduced refined carbohydrates was associated with a 16% lower risk. But a healthy, low-carb diet that also reduced refined carbohydrates was associated with a 16% lower risk. Yes, 16% lower risk. The study also found that the harmful effects of animal-based and unhealthy low-carb diets were stronger in people with lower body mass index at baseline. Weight changes over time partially explain these effects. So what's the bottom line? Not all low-carb diets are created equal. It's not just about cutting carbs. It's about choosing the right ones, along with healthy fats and plant-based proteins. Low-carb diets aren't a one-size-fits-all solution for diabetes prevention. To reduce risk, it's important to focus on plant-based proteins like beans, nuts, whole grains, tofu, healthy fats like extra virgin olive oil and avocado, and high-quality, minimally processed, fiber-rich carbohydrates. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, subscribe for more science-based nutrition and healthy lifestyle insights. As always, this is Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, the channel that brings together science, preventative lifestyle medicine, philosophy, and practical wisdom to help you live longer, healthier, and more fulfilling lives. This study summary was prepared by Professor Luigi Fontana, a physician scientist, professor of medicine, and scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center, Royal Prince Alfred Clinic at the University of Sydney. Thank you for listening, and until next time, remember, knowledge is power especially when it comes to your lifelong health and well-being.